Hi and welcome. Today we are going to be talking about pie charts. Now a pie chart is a circle divided into sectors such that the areas of the sectors are proportional to the frequencies of the values of a variable. Now it, there are so many names you can give to pie charts. Some people call them pie graphs and others call them circle graphs. A pie chart is amazingly simple because it allows us to observe the proportion of sectors relative to the entire data set that we have. Now let's look at this data from 52 voluntary blood donors at the Hematology Department of Amadou Bello University Teaching Hospital, Shika, Kaduna State, Nigeria. Their blood groups were recorded as follows. 20 of them had blood type A. 15 had blood type B, 5 had blood type AB, and the remaining 12 had the O blood type. This data can easily be represented in a simple frequency table like this. Um, we have blood group and then the frequencies. A had a frequency of 20, B had a frequency of 15, AB 5, and for O, the frequency was 12. This will give a total of 52. All right, so first, let's consider the variable type. This is a qualitative variable, right? And um, so we can call it a categorical variable. It, it has categories, right? So with this categorical variable, how many categories or how many values does it have? Now, looking at it critically, we can see that it has four categories, right? So when we have a categorical variable, a pie chart can be used to graphically represent the data from categorical variables. Now, and each category will be represented by a sector or a slice of the pie. Now, the question here is how do we draw this pie chart? So since each sector is defined by um, the central angle, and we know that a circle has 360 degrees for the central angle. So for blood group A, um, we had 20 individuals, right? Out of a total of 52 people, all right? 20 individuals had blood group A out of um, 52 individuals that were at the hematology um, clinic that day, all right? So what proportion of 360 degrees will be this 20 out of 52? Right, so we're just simply going to say 20 divided by um, 52, and we're going to multiply this by 360 to know what proportion um, had blood group A. Okay, and we'll use that to know the degrees. So we're going to say 20 over 52, and then we'll multiply by 360, and then we have 139 degrees approximately for blood group B. There were 15 individuals that had this blood type, okay? So um, we'll do the same. We're going to say 15 over 52, and we're going to multiply this by 360, and we have 103 degrees approximately. For AB, it's um, 5 divided by 52, and we're going to times it by 360 again, and this equals 35 degrees. And lastly, for blood group O, we have 12 individuals and we're going to divide this by 52 times 360 and we're going to have approximately 83 degrees so we now have all the corresponding degrees for each of the categories so in order to do a quick check all degrees should add up to 360 degrees all right so before you go ahead it's good to add them up and see whether this um, makes it up to 360 degrees so we're going to add 139 plus 103 plus 35 plus 83 degrees. And if we check it, this is going to give us 360 degrees. Right. Awesome. So now it's time for us to draw our pie chart. And let's bring out our protractors. Yeah. When was the last time you saw a protractor? <laughs> I know. Please put your response in the comment section uh, below. Let me see how old you are <laughs> all right so um, uh, we need to be systematic with this so where do we draw our first line and invariably where do we place our first um, slice 
where does the first slice start from? Okay. Well, the best um, practice is to start at 12 o'clock, all right? And then we we'll go clockwise. Also, it's best to start with the largest to the smallest or vice versa. So our largest slice is going to be from blood group A because there were 20 individuals, all right? So, and this occupies the largest angle, which is 139 degrees, all right? So we put 139 degrees and um, let's put in the next one. The next one, the next largest is um, for blood group B and this had 103 degrees, okay? All right, and then next is 83 degrees for blood group O. And lastly is um, 35 degrees for blood group AB. So here we are. We have an awesome pie chart that clearly represents the blood group data for donors at um, the hematology department for that particular day. Awesome, right? Now tell me, which other type of graph can be used to represent this type of categorical data? Please kindly put your responses in the comment section of the video. Alrighty, in summary, we said a pie chart is essentially a circle divided into sectors. And it is used mainly to graphically represent data from categorical variables. Each sector represents a category in the variable. And the area of each sector is proportional to its frequency. And when drawing a circle graph, remember that a circle has 360 degrees and it's better to start at 12 o'clock and then go clockwise. Now, if you have gained value with this video and you want to see more videos like this in future, don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. In my next video, God willing, we will go into more advanced discussions about pie charts, its uses. And I'll tell you why statisticians don't like pie charts very much. Thanks for watching.